everyone, I'm Raz the Razplay, and it's time for yet another amazing seed here in Terraria 1.4.4.9, the Labor Love Update. Now, this seed is a large seed and will have everything you need for Terra Spark Boots, as well as a pyramid that gets you a sandstorm in a bottle and leads to everything you'll need in the desert. Now, before we get there, as always, make sure you hit subscribe on the channel right now. We want to hit 100,000 subscribers. We can't do it without your help. Number two, hit the bell notification so you know when I go live or drop a new video. Number three, drop a like and comment down below because that's what nine people do and what I want you to comment today if you are on either console or mobile any one of the consoles or mobile please comment down below let me know out of all these things what you were able to find on your platform because this is for PC but hopefully you can find most if not everything for your platform so please let us know down below and finally check out the description down below why because we got a lot of cool links and you'll want to check them out because they're super helpful so do that now now let's show you how to create the world all right, so here we are in the world creation screen. Now, get back over here, sunshine. We want to keep it nice and bright and friendly. Now, number one, the name of the world does not matter. You can call it anything you want. You can call it a Merzang, which I called it myself. Or you can even call it purple. The name of the world does not matter. The name does not affect seed generation. But what does is the seed number, and that number is, number one, it'll be down in the description below. If it's not, get back here, son. Let me know, and I'll put it down in the description below. Now, the seed number is 34645878087. Got that? Good. The size of the world has to be large, not small or medium. Those are different worlds. They might be amazing, but not, they're not this amazing one, so it's got to be a large world. The difficulty does not matter. You can call it you can have it as Journey, Classic, Expert, or Master. Any difficulty will work, but if you you want to have a journey world you need a journey character got that good the evil has to be corruption not crimson because it's different and not random because that's random now crimson and corruption a lot of times are the same world or similar but not identical so make sure it's a corruption world now we're going to create the world i'll meet you in there in one second all right now first and foremost we are going to the right and we're going to find a tree it's going to have an enchanted sword attached to it as well as the aglet and some climbing claws in there so i will zip over there as we get close we'll see the coordinates and we'll go from there sound good good all right, so here we are at 4373 East by 263 surface. We're going to hit the map real quick. Like you can see, we did have to cross some corruption, unfortunately, but it is a large world. It's going to happen eventually. So we went to the right. There we go. We're at the trees. Now we go over to... We're at, stop moving, 4415 East by 260 surface, pop that open, there is your brisk climbing claws. Now we dive on down into the tree, we're going to go to the, let's go to the right first, I got a reason for that, we're over at, stop moving, we're at 4381 East by 44 surface, pop that open, and there is your hasty aglet. And finally, as we fly up here, what's in this chest up here, this is... That's a blowpipe, ain't nobody want that. But if we dig over this way, pop over to here, and we are currently at 4487 East by 110 surface. Light that up, pop that open. There you go, there's your enchanted sword. All right, so next up, right from here, we're gonna go for the water walking boots. I didn't realize they were that close. So we're gonna go back up here, back out of the tree. Do not go back to spawn, whatever you do, and we're gonna walk over this way. Now, as I keep an eye here, we got that right there. I'm watching, I'm watching. I haven't even dug the hole yet. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. So we're gonna go down to right about. Stop. There we go. We are at 5086 East by 62 surface. We're gonna light everything up around here. Head on down this way, and as you can see with the, where'd you go and chow, water walking boots, where are you, you are, please come back, where are you, ooh, money, 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 and there we go, okay, sweet, we found it, so when you get down to 5019 East by 158 Underground, there you go, nice, simple, easy, kitty corner there, boom, and there you go, there's some violent water walking boots with, hey, a shark bait, that's nice, that's sweet, there we go. All right, here we are back on the surface right above, as you can see, the water walking boots right there. So we're currently at 5099 East by 48 surface. And now it's time to go get the Anklet of the Wind. Now, the Anklet of the Wind, we're going right, by the way. The Anklet of the Wind, you see, every time I do one of these videos, there's always that one item that's super difficult to find. It can't just be, you know, it's right around the corner. You have to dig around 15 different corners through 12 different houses, make a giant mess of your world, and then you'll get it. Well, that today will be the Anklet of the Wind because there's no easy way to get it. You just have to dig down to the spot. So the easiest way I found here it's probably easier for you to go a different way but the way i went was right here so we're at 5993 east by 40 surface and we dropped on down there will be digging here so any spot that you see that looks a little bit different obviously i dug through keep that in mind we're heading this way there was digging here moving on down digging there as well heading on down this way nearly tried to fight queen bee that would have been bad actually that no, wouldn't have where are you where are you are and bye thank 
Thank you. Anyway, moving. Oh, is that the... Oh, I got the beekeeper. Nice. All right, so now we are at... That was at... Let's try and get the direction here. 5887 East by 424 Underground. Heading on this way now. Again, we will get to the finish or final location. I will show you the coordinates. You guys can get there however you see fit. Got it? Good. This is the only difficult one. Hopefully. Moving on. We're going down through the marble biome. Heading on past here. That was a sharpening station. Grab that if you want to. Those are some feral claws. Grab those as well. Now... Stop. We are at 5456 East by 1007 Caverns. As you can see, we went through the marble biome, got down to here, dug straight down, and we got to the granite biome. When you get to the granite biome, you head over this way. You drop on down here. You find a jellyfish stat fish statue. Nice. And also a heart statue. Lovely. Then head up over to 5330 East by 1108 Caverns. Pop that open. There is your ankle little wind and your spelunker potion. Times two. All right, here we are back at spawn, and we're going to the left. Now, just to clarify, the Sandstormer bottle and Hermes boots are on the left. That's where we're going now. The desert is actually on the right, so all the desert stuff that you want is on the right, not on the left, where we're going, in case I said that earlier on, just to clarify. So we're going to head over to the left, find a random pyramid, which will give us Sandstormer bottle, and then we're going to find Hermes boots. Got that? Good. Now... This is the part where I have to walk and I tell you guys about something cool about the channel or the Discord server. Today we're doing Discord server. So the Discord server, we've got 1,500 plus members, a lot of really cool people in there, a lot of helpful people. So if you're new to the game right now, hit the link down below, join the Discord server. A lot of friendly people over there. We keep it family friendly. It's 13 plus. Those are Discord's rules. Keep it, we keep it uh, family friendly because, well, that's it's what we do. We're just a family friendly server. So come check us out. Come hang out. We're a lot of fun. A lot of nice people there. Now, like I said, we're moving past the snowy biome. And we're going to find, right after it, pretty close, hold on, wait, wait, how big is this thing? Keep going, keep going, and we're walking, we're walking, we're floating, we're running. All right, now, 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 how about now, 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 how big is this? It's over, okay, fine. All right, so we're going to go over to, I tend to yammer, that's that right there, we're going this way, we're going to drop down over here, and as you can see, when we get to the thing, now the stuff here, stop, stop. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we're going to stop at 3313 West by 309 Underground. We're going to dig on down and get ourselves, look at that pyramid right next to the surface. It's lovely, isn't it? Yes. This is one of the hardest parts about doing an amazing seed video is finding the sandstorm and pilot. It is really tricky. So we're going to head on down here. We got one gold pile and add 3292 West by 162 Surface. Pop that open. And there's your guarding sandstorm and bottle. Now we head on down this way to the very bottom of the pyramid. Light that up because I know I'm to get lost. Head on down this way. Like I said, we're going for our Hermes boots. These were just the easiest one. Hermes boots, people ask me all the time, can you do a Hermes boots seat? Hermes boots are everywhere. It's just a matter of finding an accessible one. They're not always accessible, but they're there. So you can find them. You'll find them eventually. Now we go to here, and we're going to go... Give me my joke, Tim. We're going to head on this way. And as we head this way, am I doing this right or am I doing it wrong? I think I'm doing it right. Am I doing it right? I'm doing it right. I did it right. Ooh, a star. So we have now found a heart statue and a star statue. Nice. So there's your star statue. And if you go to 3565 West by 336 Underground, pop that open. And there you go. There is your Hermes boots and a star statue. Beautiful. All right, here we are at the mouth of the cave to go into the snow biome. We're at 2318 West by 262 surface, and as you can see by the map, I did have to do some serious digging to get down here. We are close to the bottom map, so just keep that in mind, but for the most part, we're just going to fall. So let's head on down into the snowy biome. We're going to drop all the way down. What was that? That was... Oh, a snow coat. Yeah, we'll leave it there. Anyway, moving along. So like I said, we're going to drop all the way down. Now again... I thought anklet was better. I guess ice skates isn't too difficult to come across. You just kind of got to drop all the way down and dig a little bit. It's not horrible. It's not the end of the world. Plus, if you go over here, like, for example, if you're at, uh, where are we at? We're at 2258 West by 348 Underground. Pop that open. Look at that. Flurry Boots. Angel statue. Nice. And as you drop down, you'll find that you find a lot of, or you'll come across a lot of different chests and things like that. So you'll get most of the stuff that you can get in the snow biome just by falling down. Got it? Good. Now we're going to head over this way. I dug down there. And right about now we are at, just to give you a coordinate, uh, we're at 2451 West by 784 Cavern. Pop that open. Hey, a fish. And it's suspicious looking. Yeah, fish is actually pretty rare, so make sure you grab that. And you head over this way to this chest here. Another pair of flurry boots. Those ones are arcane, so if you're a mage, there you go. Nice. Now, I did dig across this way. Got it. Good. Moving along. Heading on down here. 
digging, digging, falling, digging, doing all the things we have to do to get over to here, down here, down there, and it's kind of hard to do play by play when all you're doing is falling, right? Right, exactly. All right, so we're heading on down this way. When we get to the bottom, I will show you coordinates again because that's what I do. Going, going, ow, don't hit that. Moving along, dropping, dropping. We're currently ag, would you get in there, thank you, and stop. We're at 2760 West by 1624 Cavern. Pop that open, and there you go. There's a snowball cannon, an ice mirror, and an ice machine. Nice. Again, more things from the snow biome. Past Blink's fur that I just kind of left there because the inventory is full. We dug and ran and dug and ran and dug and ran and dug and dug and ran and dug and ran, dug and ran. The itchy and scratchy don't get sued. Okay, and we're going to go to stop. Everybody stop. I dug across. We're at 3125 West by 2010 Caverns. Popped up here and dug into here because this was by itself. So you got to dig through and up and over to get to it. We're at 3204 West by 1930 Caverns. There you go. There is your ice skates. All right. So now we're moving on to the Lava Charm, which is hopefully our last part of the video besides the goodbye. Unless I forgot something, because sometimes I do. Now, to get to the Lava Charm, we have a straight line dug right down, all the way down to the bottom to get to the Lava Charm. But your best bet will be, if you see over here, you see the dungeon? Once you beat Skeletron, you'd go all the way down to the bottom of the dungeon, get as far as you can down, and then move over. But I didn't want to deal with having to go through Skeletron and all that. So, what we're going to do is, I got to 6828 West by 350 surface, and I just dug on down. So, we're going to fall all the way down there again. Your best bet will be to go through the dungeon. This was just easier for me, all right? It's not the most straightforward path there, but we get there, and that's the important thing. And I can show you coordinates, and then I can upload this, and then have a lovely weekend. So we're going to go over down this way. I'm currently at, if you want to do the same thing, 6965 West by 822 Caverns. We're falling again. We're falling. We're falling. You or an orange blood root. Keep going, falling on down, falling on down. See, nice and simple. As long as you got a giant gaping hole, you can fall right down. I had to dig it myself, though. We're going to go through the green little area here, falling further down. Again, as you can see, if you take the dungeon down to a uh, ballpark-ish there, I'm going to say right below the green stuff, right about here, you're going to go over, down, and you'll be fine. Got it? Good. What's in here? That is a cloud of bottle. Grab that if you're here. You probably won't be, but hey, if you are, great. Falling on further down. Yes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today because I do have a lot of fun making these uh, amazing seed videos. They're a lot of fun to find. They're a lot of fun to put up for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. Make sure you hit like. Got it? Good. And also, actually, if you're still watching here now, question for you. What is your favorite component to Terra Spark Boots? What's your favorite one? Is it water walking boots? Is it lava charm? What's your favorite component? Comment down below and start a conversation because that always helps out. And of course, hit like. Now, we headed on down this way, got over to here, got in there. Once you find this house here, we're at 6867 West by 2750 Caverns, open it up and. Flare gun. You don't need that. Moving past that, though, we fall down here. We go like this. We dug down and around because I don't want to go through lava because if you don't have a lava charm yet, it's going to be a bad day. We're going to get to here. And finally, yes, finally, it's 6851 West by 2858 Caverns. Pop it open. And there you go. There is your lava charm. And with that, that should be any and all items for Terra Spark Boots. Got it? Good. I'll see you back at the surface. All right. So there you go. There is your amazing large seed with all Terra Spark items, you got an enchanted sword, and you got a bunch of other cool stuff as well. So, as I said before, if I helped you out, and I know I did, if I helped you out, please drop a like, comment down below, and make sure you hit subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time, and I'll see you in the Discord. Take care.